Hello, Ramona. I can't say. Hey, and welcome to a new video. If you're new, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Um, yeah, say hi. You're brushing your teeth. Both of them are brushing their teeth. Well, Jagger's just practicing. This little guy is gonna be one years old tomorrow. Hey. So I figured I'm gonna do a what in I what I eat in a day while intermittent fasting. If you haven't seen my previous video, please go ahead and check it out if you're interested. It's basically a recap of the first couple of weeks of me doing intermittent fasting and things that I found a little bit difficult and also like my schedule and whatever. But my schedule is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. is my eating window. And then um, every hour after that is fasting. So we're, what time are we now? We are 11.32, um, my husband is home today, so when he's home, he lets me sleep in, which is awesome because number one, I am always tired because my son is still waking up several times a night to feed, to nurse, and secondly, it makes the time go by very fast and then it's already time to eat when I wake up. So um, first thing I do when I get to, yes mommy, first thing I do when I get to have the way I like it is I put creamer, um, the fat-free vanilla creamer, and it's so yummy. Okay. So yesterday, yesterday I made myself overnight oats. I was just skimming through Pinterest and I found a really nice recipe um, for overnight oats. You can basically do all kinds with overnight oats, it's really fun. You can basically do all kinds of meals, uh, like fun little um, recipes with overnight oats. Basically anything that you have in your fridge, you could kind of whip up and make something special. Um, so I'm somebody that loves almond butter. I really like um, banana in the overnight oats, but also I like to add a fruit that's more sour, so strawberry as well. And I bought this granola, no mummy. I bought this granola from Costco and it has like dark chocolate inside and it makes a really, really nice um, texture in the overnight oats. So that's what I'm gonna have to break my fast this morning. And yep. Hello, Ramona. The overnight oats at the bottom. Um, hold on please, hold on please, okay? I have almond milk, uh, unsweetened. I have the granola, almond butter, and then the sour fruit, so blueberries and strawberries. And you can eat this hot or cold. Um, I like to eat it cold, so that's what I'm gonna have. Obviously, I'm gonna be sharing with my daughter. Because when you have children, nothing's ever yours anymore. Let's give Jagger his blueberries. Here you go. So today for lunch, I'm going to, well for lunch, I mean it's already 11.31 when I'm gonna eat this um, overnight oats that I prepared, but I'm gonna try and make rice paper rolls. I got the idea from Elsa's Wholesome Life. Um, I'm sure many of you know her channel. She has like many, many subscribers, but she's awesome and I really, really like her channel. And it just looked so yummy. So I figured, you know what? Let me try and do something a little bit more special than just like a salad with chicken or something like pretty simple, which is really good too, but I'm into making these rice paper rolls. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for lunch. So yeah, so now I'm just gonna dive into this overnight oats and I'll see you for lunch. Share what my kids are gonna eat for lunch. Um, we get these, they're vegan chicken nuggets. 
and they are so good. They're plant-based. They literally taste exactly like chicken nuggets, so my daughter has like no idea that they're not. And they are extremely high in potassium, 400 milligrams of potassium, and a bunch of other vitamins. Yes, mama. Oh, okay. I'm gonna feed you and you're gonna go night night. So I make this for the kids with some sweet and sour sauce on the side and some fruit. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. So this is Jagger's, but I'm not going to give it to him because everything's going to land up on the floor. So I'm going to feed him a little bit at a time. And hopefully he likes it. This here that I gave Liv, this little cheese dip, it's actually something that I've never given her before. But I figured to make her lunch um, fun to her, um, it would be a good idea to give her something that I liked as a child also. So. So for the rice paper rolls, I have some Asian noodles, cucumbers, eggs, carrots, and peppers. Ideally, I would have added avocado, but I didn't have that with me. So this is literally my first attempt at rolling the rice paper rolls. And I'm going to be honest and say that I did struggle a little bit. The rolls were not tight enough, so it became very loose when I tried to eat it. But over time, I got much better and it really, really tasted so good with the sesame sauce on the side. So I thought I'd be different and try some vegetarian burgers. Um, this is literally the first time I've ever eaten vegetarian burgers. I got these at Costco. And I'm going to be super duper honest with you guys and say that it is not my thing. I don't think I'm going to be eating it again. But I am very happy that I tried it because I really wanted to, you know, try something different and explore different types of foods. Um, so what I tried to do was be like really fancy. And I just made myself like in a lettuce wrap. I put all the condiments that I would have put um, if I was having like a burger, like a normal burger that I usually have like with between two breads but um, and then I wrapped it in an aluminum foil and then I was able to eat it more cleanly like that and it was kind of more fun but like I said I don't think I'm gonna be eating that again it was just not my thing for dessert um, I cut up this little watermelon and I just had some um, watermelon with my kids and then my fast started at seven and that was it that was all that i ate all day today i push back the serious feeling the ends of